As Ipswich Mayor for more than a decade, Paul Pasali had an approval rating other politicians could only dream of. But the public wasn't to know the man once dubbed Mr Ipswich was leading a double life. Today, Pasali was sentenced to seven and a half years jail in the district court after pleading guilty to a string of offences including sexual assault, fraud and official corruption. Disgraceful, calculated exploitation. The court heard Pasali used council funds to buy items at auctions and to travel interstate for concerts. Tens of thousands of dollars worth of donations were deposited into his personal bank account. Your misuse of these funds was therefore a gross abuse of your position as a trusted leader of the Ipswich community. Pasali helped an application get through council in exchange for more than $28,000 from the developer. He also championed a project at Yamanto and was gifted dinners and discounted rates for escorts. A cynical exploitation of your position engaged in purely for your own financial enrichment. The court heard Pasali preyed upon a young woman, forcibly kissing and touching her at council chambers. This conduct was persistent and involved an abuse of the authority of your position as mayor for your own sexual satisfaction. Paul Pasali appeared in court via video link, dressed in prison greens. He sat emotionless as he learned his fate, with the judge describing his behaviour as calculated dishonesty. Outside court, feelings were mixed. Not fair at all. Paul's a very what about, what good about man. Money? What about the money that he's Oh, the yes, money? yeah. Yes, he's paying the price. And that's the best place for him. He's a germ. Wearing a hospital gown and slippers, Basali sensationally resigned in 2017, a day after the corruption watchdog had searched his home and office. He's been behind bars since being found guilty of extortion last year after posing as a private investigator and demanding thousands of dollars from the ex-boyfriend of a Chinese escort. Pasali will be eligible for parole in October 2022. Ashley Stevenson, ABC News, Ipswich.